Camden Highland will be 1.2 kilometres long between Camden Town and King's Cross. For such vibrant, interesting international centres, they're surprisingly disconnected. They're very different experiences, but actually the ability to join them up is quite interesting as well as all the sort of eco benefits of having a green walkway. I think what's great about the Camden High Line is it really captures people's imaginations. There's very few opportunities in present day where you have opportunity to make a new green space. New parks aren't very common. The Mayor of London has this aspiration that everyone should be within 400 metres of green space and that's because of the proven mental health and physical benefits of doing that. And the minute you open the High Line, 10,000 people get that 400 metres access and if you go to 500 metres it's 20,000 people and that has a huge benefit on all their kind of well-being aspects. We went for a design team led by James Cornerfield Operations, who were the lead designers on the New York High Line, but um, to be very uh, particular to the Camden area, they put together a team with local architects firm BPPR, which is a female-led architecture firm, but also a community consultation organisation called Street Space. I'm a huge uh, supporter of Camden High Line. It's got to be fundamental that everybody who lives in this city has access to, to green space on their doorstep, but there's a lot of Camden which just doesn't feel close to anywhere particularly green. I love the community engagement and the connectivity um, uh, to bring Camden closer together. So it sort of represents everything, lets the diversity shine through, but also it's um, how we're connected. I think it's a very good thing because obviously it gives the park back to the people. So they have an open space which they can use. The fact that it goes from Camden all the way down to King's Cross, it's really nice to be able to take a clean road, walk through without any headache, hassle. There are many brownfield sites that can be used and to have an old railway line just standing there derelict is sacrilegious. And that's why I'm so keen on this site because I think the High Line will be opening up a whole new open space for people. The project has the potential to bring about Camden 2.0. You know, Camden hasn't done anything new for a long time. It's got a lot of one thing, which is tourism, but the project will encourage other businesses, people, individuals, and provide a platform to showcase these. I think it's beneficial to Camden as a borough because relating it to the High Line in New York, which is such a destination point for people to come, like it really, I think, will associate with that and be another place where people can really come and sort of have this amazing experience of nature. The Camden High Line is going to be such a vital project for Camden because it does three things, I think. It brings in the local community, it brings in culture and creativity, but it also gives people a breath of fresh air, a moment out of their daily life. So in the last four years, we've basically raised and spent a million pounds to get us through planning permission, which we've just got, which we're very happy about. The key thing is to raise the money to build the first section. So that'll be from Camden Gardens to Royal College Street. If you want to support the Camden High Line, the best things you can do are share the word about the project, spread this video, share it to all your friends, and make sure people are talking about the Camden High Line. If people haven't already signed up to the newsletter, do so. Come and join the team, be part of it, and then you'll get the information about when there's things to do, what can be done. The real value of people knowing about the project, though, is helping other people to know about it, because it's that bottom-up approach that's really helped us get as far as we have and as quickly as we have.